Oh, this is just an incredible performance. And if that was, well, if that was the middleweight batch, this is a, one of the heavyweight batches here. Leonardo, he uh, he deserves a lot of credit as well for the surfing he's been doing, uh, not just here at Manly Beach, but at the first stop on the Challenger Series. And regardless of where he finishes now, he's going to be number one on the Challenger Series ratings. As we oh. see Ryan Callanan go to the air. That thing just came from nowhere. So much height. 4.83 on his second wave. You were thinking, well, is he, is he going to have a sleepy start to this one? But he has just nope. flown to life here. So that was without priority. Uh, there is waves out there. Ark out. This is a sick one. Always had this in him, Bugs, but we just haven't seen enough of it from him in the jersey. And the way he comes out of it, too, is just straight into a big sliding s snap. I mean, it's an extraordinary manoeuvre. Gosh. Wow, man. What I love about that air that Ryan just did then is that it's different from a closeout air where you've got a section coming at you and there's a ramp in front of your face down the line. This thing, he came from behind it. Leo had priority then, but he has elected to surf that bank a little wider again. He hasn't gone to that, that golden honeypot that the Goofies have owned. Oh, here Ryan we go. again. Sneaking one without priority. Big section standing up. Oh, a floating snap. Oh, was so nervous Drifted then. across the lip then. Sort of torn between wanting to <laughs> do something absolutely remarkable and just staying injury free. Yeah, just uh, heads down the line, looks at the section there and it just fully cupped out under him. Watch the bottom of this wave just, well, it just drains. And then Arkel just going, right, I just get to the landing here. For, for Richard Dogmarsh to, to be coaching, he's got Leonardo Firavanti just a... Uh, a guy who loves the fight, never gives up, loves a big-name opportunity, and he's got Ryan Callanan, who hasn't yet really tapped into his potential. So this is going to be fun to see where this one goes. But you know this guy's going to keep throwing numbers at you. Leonardo Furavanti with his best wave yet. He's going to get himself right back in this heat. Yeah, Ryan's found uh, a new speed, and, uh, well, Leo, he's hit the accelerator on this thing. Clean snap to open up, and the second one just as precise. Love the technique here. Just a full extension, sort of powers out, springs out of it using his body. Gets low on the bottom turn again. That hit uh, vertical, it hit 12 o'clock. And uh, manages to avoid that. The biggest contest that you've you've chased down in your career. Well, you know, well, first of all, you, you do have to settle yourself down, but let's see what Ryan does on this one. It doesn't look too settled. No, big uh, air reverse again. Ryan Callanan just on at the moment to go, you've got to climb, you've got to, that final ascent to the top of the Mount Everest. Got to get to the uh, the summit and ram your flag into the uh, peak. <laughs> yep, and there's uh, oxygen's running out. Here we go, Ryan. Just so, showing so much flair, Rich. Looks like we've got action coming our way at the moment. Callanan with that priority, hanging on to the lead. Wants to dump this six and, and really make life difficult for Leonardo here. He's paddling into this one. And he'll get into this wave with quite a bit of speed. Draws off the bottom. Rips through that first turn. The wave stands up again. Big floating re-entry there. A clean combination from Callanan. Might just better the six. Yeah, great uh, wave here, as you said. Perfect composure on that first turn. Slicing it and getting up. A big extension floater with the airdrop. Love this turn here, Ronnie. Gets on that heel side rail. Wraps it right around. Puts a little emphasis on the turn by throwing the back arm in. Draws on that power, leans right into it. And then as it cups out, he just up and over and just watch him oh, almost sort of row down the explosion on that one. He's sort of got that power that he can get up early and really rip through those turns a lot more and uh, get all that water displacement and just sort of cut the wave in half. What a turnaround after bowing out in the first round. At stop number one of the Challenger Series, he was fourth in his first heat up there and now he's well potentially on his way to a final here unless Leo can really turn things around and Ryan Callanan without priority just looking so deadly and has a lot of speed to use on this section throws the uh, the straight air there I don't think it's going to go into his top two but He's just working the crowd. And often he's the guy sitting out the back Why the danger men are, are prowling the inside looking for opportunities. It's nice to see him 
in the other situation where he's feeling the freedom of going to the sky. Yeah. yeah but, Sorry, go, Bugs. Oh, that's a, that's a, like he's assuming the role. I mean, he's in his comfort zone. He's just like Medina's in the comfort zone at that CT level. Well, this is the this is that kind of heightened state that all competitors want to be. Ten seconds to go. I mean, unlike that that last semi final, Leonardo Ferravanti not shaking hands just yet, but now he might be as this one comes to a close. Ryan Callanan is going to be taking on Rio Waida in the final here at the GWM Sydney Surf Pro. Presented by Rip Curl. What a final it is going to be.